Valley. I'm the owner of Accelerated Strength and Balance, also the head strength and balance coach here. And I'll be demonstrating one of our key core stability exercises, the cat count. The exercise is uh, really more of a drill and, and something more of a warm up than an actual exercise. And so one of the things we want to work on here is, is we're not going to do this exercise to fatigue or exert ourselves in such a way that um, you know we start to um, you know be real exertional. It's more of a, of a warm up, and uh, it's based on a lot of the research and writing of uh, Dr. Stuart McGill from uh, the University of Waterloo in Canada, and uh, he he likens it to flossing the spine. So it's something of an exercise to provide some uh, flexibility and uh, loosening of the spine. The cat camel, you're going to begin in a quadruped position like this. And the key here is to stack your shoulder over your elbow, over your wrist, and your hip over your knee. So try to avoid uh, reaching out like this so that your hands are out in front of your head and yet you're uh, adding any stress to your shoulder joint there. And likewise, you don't want your knees back behind here or tucked too far in. So think about stacked shoulder over wrist, hip over knee. And this is going to go into the cat. Uh, so you, from here, you extend your belly button toward the floor, uh, an extension here in your lumbar spine, while gently looking up. And then transition to find spinal flexion here, and kind of humping up in your thoracic spine, and then tuck your chin down into your chest, but not necessarily too far. And then very slowly and in a controlled manner, you're going to transition from cat to camel, cat, to camel. And about six or eight repetitions of this is normally sufficient. Any more than that is kind of superfluous. So that's the cat camel.